Hello everybody, welcome back and welcome back to another sandbox survival game. As you guys know, I rather like sandbox survival style of games, whether it be an MMO or like this, a server based style like Ark and all those other similar games. Before I continue with the video, I'd like to point out that if you don't like the sound of a mechanical keyboard or a mouse clicking on videos that you watch please don't watch this video unfortunately with the microphone I have um, it's kind of impossible for me to have it far enough away from my keyboard and mouse for it to not pick up any of the clicking so I do apologize for that if you don't like that please don't watch the video I want to actually give you guys my experience of this game fragmented I got this game free because of the re population there was a um, MMO survival game and it was called um, the repopulation and unfortunately they hit hard times and they decided they would release this lighter version of the game but in a server based um, to make some money that would then help them to continue the development of the repopulation in the end this game didn't do it as well as they'd hoped and they then had to sell the repopulation onto another company anyway that's why i ended up with this game now this is what i did first play online i went to this server us west 11 normal pve that's what i did loading loading now, while we wait for it to load, it shouldn't take too long. I will say that, oh, I'm swimming in the ocean. Awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Yay. Come on, then. Oh. Oh, I'm, like, really almost about to die. Fabulous. Now, I must be very close to my place. Let me look at my map. I'm probably going to die in a minute. That's not good, is it? Oh, I think it's over. It's oh, it's over there. Look. Um, I'm about to die, which is not good. Hopefully, I won't actually die. But um, this is what I did first. I came into the server. I did the usual stuff. I, you know, like it's this game is like identical to all of the other similar survival server based survival games like you get an axe or other tools you get resources from trees from rocks you make a base you kill the mobs make more stuff the one thing i, I would say about this game that sets it apart more from other games is it's got a sci-fi styling there are not that many sci-fi style games like this there are a few but not loads so i suppose that's the one thing this game has going for I will say right off the bat, this game looks really nice, but it's not very well optimised. Um, so, in the video you'll probably see that there is some lag or some stutter in the game. I don't usually get that with just when I'm recording. I wonder if I have anything in here like bandages. Probably not. It's a bit annoying with the UI when you have to close everything out, you know, like, there's no way, or I haven't worked out a way for me to move my, you know, like, open another box without having to close up the inventory screen. Maybe there is a way, but I haven't worked it out yet, no, I don't have any. But yeah, so this game is not very well optimised, that's, an that's another thing they need to work on. So I was here... I made a base, I was farming these creatures over here and I decided to level up mainly my ranged stuff so I got sniper rifles and stuff like that. Um, let me show you the, the creatures that I was... So I farmed these creatures in order to get hides for armour I was having fun, but but I noticed some kind of bugs. 
And again, sorry about the jerky video here. It doesn't usually lag this bad, but it's just what I'm recording. But um, yeah, I was farming these. Look, level 12 set land. And there is another creature and yeah, I thought this was, this was a nice place for me to make a base. But yeah, then what happened was I found out there was still some kind of bugs in the game. Like, one time I was trying to move some gold from one of the, the boxes in, into my inventory and it completely vanished. Now this stuff is quite hard to get hold of. Um, not very, very hard, but it took me a while. Then after that, there were two occasions. Like, this server is a normal PvE server. So when you die, there should be a box that spawns with your stuff inside it. Um, but that was that was happening fine when I first entered this server. When I first entered the server, it was working okay. But then, the last two times that I... Oh, here we go. Yay. Oh, look, there's a box. This time there's a box. I saw the box. Okay, so let's let's see if it works. So, that's where we die. I bet that this time it works. <laughs> but, yeah, there were actually two times when I died and I went back exactly. I mean, it shows you on the map exactly where you died. I went back to that exact place. I searched and searched. I couldn't find the box, the, the loot box anywhere. And that was annoying because I'm playing on my own. And both of these occasions, I had a sniper rifle on me. I had, um, I had a full set of armor, which had taken me quite a while because I believe the full set of armor had roughly about thirty or yeah, maybe about thirty hides altogether, which had taken me quite a while to get. And so I lost full stuff twice and after that I was like screw this game screw the bugs and I was gonna quit I was gonna quit but then actually I found a way of not you know of enjoying this game in it, its current state but before I get to that we're gonna see if the loot box did spawn this time because like I said when I was first on the server it spawned fine no issues at all now let's not, let's try not to die that would be sad, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, we're going to head over this way, away from those animals. Maybe not. Please don't kill me. And as as you can see, I mean, the game does look really nice in my opinion. Maybe not amazing. But I would say pretty nice. Um, but unfortunately, it's just not optimised. I have a pretty okay gaming computer. It's not the latest and greatest. But it should be fine for a game like this. But, yeah, kind of a bit laggy at times. Anyway, let's see. Did a loot box actually drop? I'm exhausted. Okay, let's wait then. Oh, one thing that I don't like. I find when you wear armour, the third person view is kind of weird in this game. Um, when you have armour, actually at the moment it doesn't look too bad. But when you have armour, the bottom half of your body looks way too chunky and weird in my opinion but actually i found it as well using this character when you use guns they actually are a lot better in third person than when you're in first first person and you try to use the guns the way they look in my opinion looks really bad so when i was using the guns with this character i pretty much all the time played in third person view which i wouldn't normally do in a game like this okay it fell down the hill, right? We saw it fall down the hill. Did we not see it fall down the hill? When I died, I, I saw it fall down the hill. And I'd like to point out that pre on previous occasions, I didn't... That I wasn't standing on a hill the last time this happened. So, see? No, no loot box. Like, all of the other times that I died... When I was first on this server, there was a loot box. I died right there, so it must have fallen somewhere here. But look, there's nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. See? I'm, and I mean, like... Oh, come on. Give me a break, son. <coughs> Give me a break, son. Give me a break. 
he's gonna chase me, isn't he? He's gonna chase me. Chase me! Oh yes, he is. Oh, and I'm stuck. I'm gonna die now again. I'm stuck on a. I'm stuck. I got stuck. I'm very annoyed now. Come on, let me in. You stupid thing. Right, I was gonna actually search more there, but I can't be bothered now because I got attacked. Um, yeah. So I couldn't see a loot box. I couldn't see one at all. So that was what was happening. So, so anyway, yeah, so I'll show you. So there were bugs and there were issues that, that, that I couldn't really enjoy on this server that I explained about already. And I was going to quit the game. Oh, is it going to let me go back to the menu? It's not going to leave the whole game, is it? No, okay. This is what I found out. Now, this might not be ideal, but host local. See what happens. Are you ready? Look, look what happens when you go to host local. It says loading. Oh, I hear a fire, a campfire. Maybe that's my campfire. Oh yes, look, I'm in the game again. Yay, but I'm not annoyed by the bugs. Hey, I've got a campfire. Yay. I've got armor, look. Now you can probably see what I mean about the bottom half of your body looks weird with armor. Anyway, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm weird. But look. I have a new base. So yeah, basically last night, when I was about to quit the game, I saw the host local option. And I can remember hearing that other people have used this option. Right? So I thought, oh, why not try it? So what I did is I made my own local server and I basically made all of the, the gather rates and the skill rates look like really fast so that I skill up really quickly. I am able to gather really quickly. So when I try to go here and gather stuff, you see that I get three every time, right? So normally, I wouldn't really agree with this. <coughs> Excuse me. But because there are bugs in this game, if you play the game normally, it can get really annoying. Like I said, where you lose stuff and then it takes you ages. So this is how I'm enjoying the game. So I was playing the game for, for a few hours last night on this local server, really enjoying it. Even if I lose stuff, it's not gonna be a big deal. And yeah. I have a base and I also feel like that the lag that it feels a lot more responsive obviously when you play locally rather than on a server then it's going to be way way better obviously in this video there's still going to be some lag yeah look at that view because um, like I said this game is not optimized but yeah there you go so that's my advice if any of you are interested in this game now first of all I'll say this as well. This is an early access game, if I can speak. Early access game. So if you like the idea of this game, then I would wait until it's on a sale, and then I would buy the game. But right now, you have to play it either on a local server or make your own server and have all of the gather rates really high and all the skill gain really high. That's how I'm able to enjoy the game. If you play the game as intended, um, then it's going to be a real annoying experience. Now, I really hope and I really expect that the devs of this game work hard to quash the bugs first. It's so annoying when you play a game and you lose stuff in your inventory, stuff like that. So they need to work on that big time. Also, they are planning on releasing this on Xbox. Now, frankly, on Steam, on the PC, this game does not have a very strong, or at the moment, there's not a lot of players on this game. Now, hopefully, there's a lot of players that wanna play the game, but they're waiting for the bugs, hopefully. But I just feel like, what well, the game is also really badly reviewed on Steam, partly because um, of the people that got this game for free from the re population, they weren't happy about that whole saga, so they voted this game really low. And others that just don't 
really like this game. But I think this game has got a lot of potential. But yeah, on the, the PC, the game is not very active. So, I hope before they release this game on the Xbox One, please, please, please get rid of the bugs first. Don't add any more content. The content is okay. It's f fairly decent. But just get rid of those annoying bugs and then hopefully it'll get a release on Xbox. Hopefully it'll do reasonably okay. Hopefully they'll be able to make more money and then they'll be able to carry on the development of this game because I feel that if the Xbox version fails I would take a wild guess that the whole thing is going to fail but I could be wrong but that's my guess mm. anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video as usual I, I probably rambled on way too much but I just wanted to give you guys my experience of this game I like the game but I have to play it in this way on a local server with OP skill game and stuff like that. Oh, one more thing, actually. One more thing. Advice. If you do actually play this game, first piece of advice. Skill up melee first. Don't do the guns. Last time I did the guns, I wouldn't really recommend that. Um, I would kind of leave that for slightly later. Because when you do, when you skill up here, you also get very important things such as calibrite axes and all this. So that is really handy. Also, be really careful where you, which area you settle in. So last time I showed you that the the setlang, the the creatures were like level thirteen, level fifteen in that area that I was in before. Um, now I'm going to try to find you the creatures I have around here. Ah, see over here, look. Level 5, level 4, right? So I was really stupid. I was in an area, like, usually whenever I play these kind of games, I look around, I search around in the map, I find a nice area that I really, really want to make a base in. That's what I do first. And I kind of forgot about this whole idea that, that there will be different levels of creatures. Um, and I only realised when I did this, this, this local host and I started to kill the, the creatures. And I was like, wow, these are way easier to kill than on the other server. And then I realised that they're all like level 3, level 5. I'm like, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Then I'm like, that's why then. So yeah, that's a pretty obvious thing that I didn't, for some reason it didn't really dawn on me. But just be careful. When you choose an area for your first base, please bear that in mind. Okay, I've babbled on way too much. Thanks for watching the video as always and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.